the seawaters off the coast of Japan's crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is even more polluted. The country's nuclear safety agency says new tests showed a major spike in radioactive iodine. It rose to 180 becquerels per cubic centimeter on Wednesday, more than 4,300 times the legal limit. That is the highest level recorded so far in the seawaters off the plant. We saw a higher level of radioactive iodine-131, 330 meters south of a water outlet of the plant. The level is 4,385 times higher than the legal standard. The half-life of the iodine-131 is eight days, which is, I think, short enough not to affect human health immediately. If we consider people eating seafood, the amount of iodine-131 would be lower by the time they actually eat it. Hidehiko Nishiyama of the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency added that high levels of radioactive materials such as cesium-134 and 137 were also found in seawater on Wednesday. Cesium-134 has a half-life of more than two years. The half-life of cesium-137 is around 30 years. Nishiyama also said it is important to continue monitoring radiation data and take action to prevent radiation levels from rising further. Inside the nuclear plant, Tokyo Electric Power Company workers are dealing with the radioactive water they found in the tunnels outside some of the reactor's turbine buildings. They are trying to prevent the contaminated liquid from flowing into the sea. Right now, the focus is on number one's tunnel. Workers have transferred radioactive water from there into a storage tank. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says the water level in the tunnel has dropped by about a meter. Radioactive iodine, iodine and cesium have been found in water and tunnels outside the number one, two, and three reactor units and in the basements of their turbine buildings. TEPCO is also working to remove the contaminated water out of the basements. The company plans to use a synthetic resin around the reactor buildings to prevent radioactive dust from becoming airborne or being washed into the sea. The resin solidifies and becomes water-resistant when it dries.